Engineering has changed the world dramatically in the last 10 years. And we're seeing a continuous transformation as the impact of innovations like the internet and mobile broadband ripple through society. This can be seen in the rise of automated and online services, social and professional networking, even down to the demise of the car tax disc, not much in the world is on change. The iPhone was an important tipping point for this transformation, built on decades of engineering innovation in wireless, processing, storage, displays, and touchscreens. With this revolution came a problem. The explosion in demand for mobile data led to the data crunch. It was engineers that were needed to solve this, working across governments, regulators, organizations, and disciplines. Engineers have been crucial in changing the world, but are we now changing with it? We're represented by institutions and professional bodies and have been for over 150 years, but these now need to move with the times too. Institutions have a very clear role to change the nuts and bolts way that engineering is viewed and to use the tools that their members have created to influence policymakers, inform society and inspire the next generation. My inaugural address on the 2nd of October 2014 at the Royal Institution in London will explore just how engineers change the world and how their institutions can make best use of the new reality that they've created to build a platform that is fit for the next 150 years.